There are no incumbent MPPs during Ontario elections. But the Premier is always the Premier. He's John Michael McGrath. He's Steve Pakin. So is Doug Ford still the Premier during this election? Yes. There are no incumbents in Ontario politics. So uh, some of our viewers were left confused by two of our previous videos. By us? Confused I, by us? I can't imagine. In one, John Michael, you said that even after an election is called, there is still a government and the Premier is still in charge. In another, Steve, you said that once an election is called, all MPPs lose their jobs and there are no incumbents. Right. That comes across as a contradiction to some. Can you clarify? Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. What happens when the election is called is that the legislature is dissolved, as Steve explained, but the Premier sticks around. The Premier and his cabinet keep their jobs. Uh, what happens, though, is uh, they adopt what's called the caretaker convention, and there are differences in how this plays out in different governments, but the general rule is that the elected uh, government no longer has all of the powers that they used to. Those are delegated to high-ranking civil servants. If something absolutely has to be done, like if there were an emergency, uh, the government still has the capacity to act, but they really try to uh, put everything they can on the back burner until the election is over and we know whether the incumbent government, because the government actually is the incumbent, whether they have been re-elected, uh, whether they will likely retain the confidence of the next legislature, or if there's been a change, if the government no longer has a majority in the legislature, then the caretaker convention can actually be maintained for several weeks after the election while the new government is sworn in. I think what's interesting about this is that it's not written down in law. It's a convention, right? Yeah. It's a convention, meaning it's sort of a practice that has evolved over the years. And what it means is there's kind of an understanding between the government of the day and the civil service that the government isn't going to take any extraordinary or controversial decisions during the writ period while everybody's campaigning for the right to win. They're just going to sort of... Uh, be in stasis, right? It's just going to be sort of in suspended animation. There are no incumbent MPPs because they all lose their jobs at the start of an election, but there is an incumbent government. Yes, that's right. The Premier is still the Premier, the Cabinet Ministers are still the Cabinet Ministers, but they're not MPPs because, of course, the Lieutenant Governor has dissolved the legislature, meaning there are no more MPPs. Their offices remain open. Their staff remain on the job. They are doing the work of dealing with constituents' problems. But they technically are not MPPs anymore, which is why they're not incumbents, because as we've said, the job is not theirs. The job belongs to the public. And therefore, they're not incumbents. They're former sitting members seeking re-election. And, you know, it, it might be helpful to think of, you know, somebody like Doug Ford wears multiple hats all at the same time, right? He's the leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Ontario, the Premier of Ontario, the MPP for uh, Etobicoke North. And when the election is called, he stops being an MPP, but he is still the Premier and still the leader of, of the Progressive Conservative Party. What he said. So somebody on Twitter asked what I thought was an interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> Do the former sitting members still draw a salary? So I did actually look this one up. Uh, an MPP is paid effectively from the day uh, that they win an election until the last day before the next election. Uh, so they do get paid during the period where they are technically running to keep their jobs. Uh, this way, it at least means that if you are an MPP who was elected in a previous uh, election and is, is re-elected, you never uh, go without a paycheck so long as the voters re-elect you. Can I add something? That was a good catch. <laughs> you flung that thing at him with extreme violence and he made a good catch. I was very impressed. Uh, only time in my life I've been an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> If you have any more questions for us, just send us a tweet. I'm at S. Paikin. That's S-P-A-I-K-I-N. And I'm at J.M. underscore McGrath. Underscore? Why did you want an underscore in there? Uh, I, I had the full name written out. It was just way too long. Hmm. Okay. <laughs>